Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. It's October, I'm so excited. I have a lot of things up my sleeve for you guys. I cannot wait for you guys to see, but today I am going to be doing a video that I talked about in a video, I don't even know when. It was probably a week or two ago. I tried out this little mixture here as a tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to redo that today with you guys. And by making my own tinted moisturizer. So we're gonna jump into this. I do already have my eyes done, as you guys can tell. Um, I'm filming this for a different complete video. It's not up. I don't know when it's going up. <laughs> it's a four-parter, so it's taking me quite a while to film all four pieces with how much I have going on right now. So because of that, here I am trying to film other content in the middle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to essentially be making my own tinted moisturizer today. And I talked about this not long ago in a video because I tried this mixture, I loved it, but now I want to try it again, tell you guys more about it and what I think about it, but also I'm going to do a wear test. So I'm gonna check back in tonight and let you guys know like how it wore um, every summer this is bad timing because every single summer I'm looking for the perfect tinted moisturizer. Um, I did find one from Perlis this past summer that I absolutely love. It's incredible, um, but it's like a, a BB cream though. Um, and then you guys know I love color pops, but it breaks me out so I can't wear it. Um, it's just the struggle with tinted moisturizers is real. Essentially what a tinted moisturizer is, is it's lighter on your skin. You don't have to put so much on. You're not looking for a full glam moment. You're just going to put a nice, like almost filter on your face to make your skin look like your skin, but better. It's honestly the best way to describe it. I'm only just now realizing that I have fallout Still, I thought I wiped all of it up, so I probably look like I was hella tired. I am. <laughs> Over here sipping on my coffee still. I tried this out because I can't even remember who it was. I've actually seen a few different people do it recently where they are mixing their foundations with their primer and it ends up looking like the perfect tinted moisturizer. So I was like, all right, I need to try this out. So today's concoction is going to be the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer because for one, I love this primer. It makes my skin look amazing, 10 times more amazing than what it did beforehand <laughs> for just a primer base and not even like any coverage. It makes my skin look really good. So I thought that this would be like a, a good choice. And then also the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I really like this foundation. It has a really pretty finish. The downfall with this one is this is L1 Porcelain or Porcelain L1 and I believe it's like their lightest shade and it's still too dark for me because I'm a ghost. Um, so mixed with this primer the other day, I was like, I might be able to pull this shade off now. So it's kind of nice. You almost like lighten your foundation in a way. I'm gonna wet my sponge real quick and then we can jump into it. So all I'm going to do is take a pump of the Light Illusion. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand for now. Um, no, let's go two pumps just in case because they're kind of smaller pumps. That's two pumps right there. And then I'm gonna put about that much of Tinted Moisturizer on. So the Tinted Moisturizer is right here on this side and then there's the foundation. So yeah, this is gonna kind of lighten. I'm just going to swirl around, mix it a little bit. This is going to work as a primer and a foundation for one. I don't have primer on my face. I don't have anything but my eyes done um, and my brows, but this is going to be a primer and foundation concoction together, so you don't have to worry about both of those. I don't think I got it as light as I did last time. That's okay, because I did feel like blending it out last time. I felt like it's not so much coverage, like I was saying before, like a foundation, it's a lot lighter of a coverage. So I feel like it'll blend out a lot better. Um, and a little goes a long way with it like this, I feel. 
you guys see that? Like, the finish, everything is just so beautiful. Like I said, I already know, like, how the finish looks because I did try this in a look not too long ago and I was like, this is like a full, like, its own video content. But yeah, I've seen it quite a few different people. I wish I could credit some people, but I've seen so many different people uh, do this. I was like, uh, because you're probably like I was. You're probably like, well, can't you just go out and just buy a tinted moisturizer? But the thing is, doing this way, it's literally products that you already own, so you don't have to go out. You don't have to buy more. And honestly, my thought, now I'm kind of like getting out of my no-buy. Guys, I've been doing some spending lately. Um, you guys will see that um, in upcoming videos. But when I first started, I was like, on a no buy. So it was nice to be able to, even though I was kind of like in the market for a tinted moisturizer, it was nice thinking I can stick to my no buy and make my own in a way. So I feel like there's a lot of like pros to this. The con definitely is that it's not just a moisturizer. Um, it's going to set on your face more like actual makeup and not just a moisturizer but if you're wearing it like I do where I just need a little skin pick me up and I'm not wanting to go super heavy but I'm still wearing a full face of makeup you might as well just be wearing makeup like if I'm gonna put powder on might as well just be a foundation you know it still is a slight too dark for me but it tones it down a lot I think last time I added less foundation and more primer so I think that would be like the perfect um, mix is a little bit more uh, primer than foundation but the finish I feel like is really pretty I feel like it's still really light you can obviously see everything peeping through but it's just and it feels light. It doesn't feel heavy. And I'm not trying to say this foundation is heavy. Like I said, I really like that foundation. Oh, and did I mention, usually with a tinted moisturizer, I'm looking for SPF. And this foundation actually has SPF of 18. So there's that. If you do use a foundation that already has a little bit of SPF, you kind of still have that mixture going on too. Now, since I am doing my full face makeup, I am going to go ahead and go into concealer and powder. I'm going to be going very light-handed with both of these today because I don't want to take away from the tinted moisturizer. So I'm just going to add concealer to just pretty much, I have a spot right here. Um, but pretty much just my under eyes, but I do have that spot over there. I'm going to try to clear up. I did an Instagram live today with Max for our podcast, and you guys should go check it out. It's on our Instagram with a side of your at with a side of beauty. Um, we went live and did Halloween looks in 45 minutes, and I did Chucky. We called her Chuckette, and that's already popping up from doing special effects makeup. So, oh, this month is going to be the B word to my skin. Um, but I'm going to just blend this out real quick. It is hella light because the shade is super, super light on me. But it does kind of just brighten up that under eye, especially since here lately, I've barely been getting any sleep with how much I've been juggling. But what I was saying is we saved the live to that Instagram and Go should check it out. We're going to be doing lives every other Thursday, so you guys can follow along there for when we do those. But Max was a zombie, and I was Chuckette, and the pictures and stuff are there too. We had so much fun with it. I'm sure by the time you guys see this, I'll have already posted it on my Instagram too. But that was today, so this is my second round of makeup. Like, my skin's really going to hate me. I am going to go ahead and just set right through this T-zone area and my nose because this is where um, it tends to transfer a lot. And my chin. Okay, for everywhere else, I'm going to go ahead and dip into it, the powder, into my brush, but then I'm going to knock off like almost all of it and barely use anything on the rest of my face. Just a light little dusting because I am going to apply regular face makeup and I don't want anything to move. But with my time schedule today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like. Don't mind my under eyes. They are hella bright right now because of that concealer. But the finish and everything I feel like is so light, but it just looks so good. 
hopefully you guys can see okay. My neighbors are going at it with like every machinery item they can find. But yeah, I'm just really, really liking this. Sorry, I look like a floating head today. But yeah, I'm really liking it. Kind of have given you guys my pros for this. Um, any cons I will have, I will talk to you guys tonight about if I remember. Let's hope so. But I'm overall going to tell you guys how it wore throughout the day and all of that later on tonight. So yeah. I'm going to finish up my makeup and I will include little shots of it. Um, but then I will just see you guys tonight when we wrap up the video. Hey guys, so it's been about just about eight hours, um, which you guys know I feel like is a good day wear. I cannot tell you how much I want to pat my face with this. And I'm sorry, I look like a hot mess. My lipstick is like wearing off, everything else. Um, that's the only thing that I've reapplied all day though is my lipstick. So honestly, I feel like it's looking really good in my T-zone where I did powder earlier. It is pretty oily. I've been wanting to just like, oh my gosh, it just feels so nice to just dab. Besides that though, like, I feel like there's a little wear and tear, but honestly it held up so good and I really like the way my makeup looked today. Even like leaving the house earlier and kind of like looking in the mirror in the car, I was just like, my makeup looks really good today. It's a win for me. Um, I'm super excited about it. I definitely want to try out some others too. Let me know if there's like a combination you guys kind of want to see if you want me to do some more of these and see how they wear. You may not be interested in these at all, I understand. <laughs> so I could just do them on my own time as well. But if you have found any like combos that work really well for you, I do have like combo to dry skin, but hit me up, let me know. I would love to try them out, see for myself. Definitely going into fall time now. So I'm like wanting more of like a matte or full coverage look so um i probably won't do it too often but for the days where i just want something light and pretty i'm really loving this i mentioned that you guys will see this makeup look in a future video where i actually show you guys how i did my eyes and my lips earlier because oh yeah i have changed my lip <laughs> I will probably forget to mention this down below, so I'm just going to say it here. Earlier, I was wearing the green um, liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Karma. Right now, I'm wearing the same Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid or Velour liquid lipstick, but this is the shade Mannequin, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Mannequin. It's just a nude. Um, same formula and stuff, so that's why it's like held up throughout the day. Uh, anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below if you have created your own tinted moisturizer or even I know a lot of people like to mix foundations. I do that every once in a while. What is your favorite concoction that you've ever made of primer and foundation or foundation and foundation, foundation and concealer, whatever it may be? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for spooky season and I'll see you in my next video.